Hey you guys, it's Jamie Utt with Taylor Hewitt Healthcare Strategies. So I've kind of ran out of things to say. Not sure what to talk about. Has that ever been you? Have you been out in the field for a while and you just think, geez, I don't, I don't know what else to talk about while I'm out here. Well, today I have four tips to get you back in the game when you thought there was nothing else left to say. So tip number one, make something up. No, I don't mean to lie or just randomly throw something out there. I mean literally create something or make something. This could be a newsletter, like a quarterly newsletter that could include things like hospital department spotlights, uh, new physician introductions, maybe even a joke or a cartoon that the offices would look forward to seeing. And yes, it'll take a little work on the front end, but it's a guaranteed way to have something of value to hand deliver to your offices every time you go in. And they love it. The front desk clerk, the referrals coordinator, the office manager, physicians, they all find a piece of the newsletter that they navigate to and they really enjoy. Okay, so tip number two, dive into your data. Yep, we've said it time and time again, but it's so true. Dive into your data and let your data tell you a story. I guarantee you there will be something worth investigating. And then go talk to your departmental managers or talk to the staff. Go to all of them, go to surgery, go to cath lab, wound care, sleep lab, imaging, go to your ED, make sure they're in the know. And if you have a centralized scheduling department, definitely go there. You're gonna gather some intel that will give you a purpose to go into these offices. You can even ask them, you know, is there somebody specific in the offices that you'd like to recognize? Or maybe you'll find an office that never has order forms and you can deliver those order forms. Either way, you'll find some great information. So tip number three, have a ride along. Take somebody with you. It could be anybody. You don't always have to go into these offices alone. Take your CEO, take a new physician, take one of the managers or the referral um, schedulers that you just spoke with. It's always nice to put a face with a name. When I was a liaison, I used to do office manager meetings and referral coordinator meetings. And it was always amazing to see two people that had talked on the phone forever and they finally got to meet face to face. It always took their relationship to the next level. And my final tip, tip number four, when you just ran out of things to talk about and you don't have anything else to say is stop talking. <laughs> It sounds silly, but stop talking and listen. We're not in the offices to just bark out things to them. We're there to make sure that they choose us as their first choice because we offer the path of least resistance. So as you go into these offices and you build that trusted relationship, they'll start to let you know how you can help them. And you can kind of suggest or start this process by asking for one thing that you can work on. Just one thing, everybody can come up with that, right? Then run with that, and that will get the proverbial ball rolling. Okay, so those are my four tips to get you back in the game, to earn those long-lasting relationships, and to bring value into your offices even when you thought there was nothing left to say.